Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today I wanted to talk to um, Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts looking like real contenders. They're looking like true contenders. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. All right, so I wanna talk about the Colts because I owe them props. I definitely gotta get them props because I said they might be, you know, third place in a division. And that's because um, I thought Tennessee is Tennessee is still Tennessee. They three and zero, um, and I didn't expect the Houston Texans to be this bad. I did not expect that. At least the first quarter of the season, they bad. Um, yeah, I just didn't expect it. And I was like, Philip Rivers is aging. He's not gonna look the same. Even to me right now, he doesn't look the same. I believe more of the defense of the coast is extremely dominant. I gotta give them props to that. And besides Doug Peterson, my favorite coach in the league right now, Frank Wright. He he doesn't get the respect he deserves. Um, you know, when he had Carson Wentz, he made Carson Wentz look like a MVP candidate. And you know, it seems as of right now, Carson Wentz been struggling without him. And then also he took a Nick Foles at the end of the year changed up the scheme, him and Doug Peterson. And they did enough for us to win the Super Bowl. So salute to Frank Wright. I like him a lot. And it looks like this Colts team can go far. As of right now, what I'm seeing looks like they could go far. Week one, they did lay an egg. I didn't expect for them to lose to the Jaguars week one. Um, that was pretty shocking. Um, and that's when I seen that game. I'm like, yeah, maybe the Colts are not as good. But since then, you know, they won three straight games as they supposed to. And like I said, Phillip Rivers' stats are not, are not like mind-blowing stats. But let's go over his stats. I'm going to go over what he did each game. But they're not mind-blowing. But it seems like Frank Wright, once again, he's turning this guy into a game manager, which I believe he should do. If you limit his mistakes, you will win games. To me, it's nothing wrong with a game manager. But it seems like Phillip Rivers, when you think of him, you don't think of him as a game manager. You think of him as a game changer. You think you win because of him. You know, he put up them big stats, big numbers, but obviously he aging. He's been in the game for a long time playing at a high level. But now seems like he got the right culture around him. And um, yeah, so let's go over his stats. Let me get to his stats. First game against the Jaguars. This is what I mean, limit his mistakes um, when I go over this. So he threw a completion percentage of 78.3%, which is not bad. He threw for 363 yards. He threw one touchdown and two picks. He threw two picks that game. And I'm pretty sure because of those picks and his mistakes, it cost him to lose the game. Vikings, they did what they supposed to did. Uh, Vikings this year just not looking too good. They did just get their first one against, you know, bad Houston Texans. Um, so he threw a completion percentage of 76%. So he's precise. He's not throwing a lot of incompletions. Threw for 214 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Got away, got away with that game. Uh, Jets, that defense completely did what they were supposed to do to a bad team. Just dominated the Jets. The Jets suck, and they did what they were supposed to do. But go to Phillip Rivers' numbers. Um, threw an 81 completion percentage. So he barely threw any incompletions. He threw for 217 yards, one touchdown, zero picks. You know, sound like what? A game manager. You know, he's doing enough to win these games. You know, once again, it's nothing wrong with a game manager. Against the Chicago Bears, I believe this was like a nasty one. I believe they won 19 to 11. Wasn't the most prettiest game to watch. But once again, that defense did what it was supposed to do. To, uh, to me, a choking Nick Foles. When the pressure is on the line, he chokes. That's what they made him do. A 55.2 completion percentage, which is not that good. Uh, threw for 190 yards, one touchdown, no picks. So he limits his mistakes. So as of right now, through the whole year, he's throwing a 72.7 completion percentage, which is not bad. 
um, 984 yards, four touchdown, three picks. He just lowered the picks a bit. You know, he'll be he'll be all right. He'll be all right. But you can't win the game through Phillip Rivers, not at this stage of his career. The guy that the two guys that have been mind blowing to me on the coast is first Jonathan Taylor. He's been looking extremely amazing. Um, looks like he's living up to the hype. Uh, he was a second round pick. Um, the one that really caught my eyes, obviously, against the Vikings. He rushed the ball 26 times. He ran for 101 yards and one touchdown, which is pretty good. Um, actually, not pretty good, very good. Um, running for 101 yards was supposed to be a Vikings dominant defense. Um, you know, first game against the Jaguars, he only ran for 22 yards, but since then, he ran for 101. Against the Jets, he ran for 59 yards. Against the Bears, he ran for 68 yards. So I, I, I like Jonathan Taylor. I like him a lot. He's balling out. He's definitely playing. Um, the second guy that been standing out to me on the offensive side is, please correct me if I'm wrong, but his name is Mo Elias Cox. Um, he's really good to me. Um, once again, he had his breakout game against the Vikings. He caught the ball five times for 111 yards. Um, yeah, and just his big body frame, the tight end, he, he's good. It looks like he can play against the Jets. He caught the ball three times for 50 yards. Didn't do as much against Chicago. He did get a touchdown, um, actually a clutch touchdown. So, yeah, um, the, these are the two standouts, and it looks like they, you know, they definitely have a pretty successful career in the NFL. So I like the running back, Jonathan Taylor, and um, Mo Cox. He's been standing out to me. He definitely been standing out to me. Phillip Rivers, once again, he's doing what is expected. Frank Wright, he, he's a great coach. It looks like he's going to take the coach somewhere. He just need he needs the quarterback. Um, I still don't think Phillip Rivers is the answer, but I believe he he just need a young, established quarterback. Um, and once again, hopefully, Phillip Rivers limit his mistakes. You know, Frank Wright will take him somewhere. The defense, that defense, man. Once again, that defense is stout. That Colts defense is stout. But I got to, you know, see them play through the year. But the first quarter of the year, that defense is something else. But what do you think, and how do you feel about the Colts? I think the Colts are um, looking like a playoff team, possibly a playoff team. The Texans not looking like a playoff team. Tennessee Titans, I don't know what they doing. Um, multiple players catching COVID, they breaking rules. So, Colts might got this division, man. Colts might got this division by the bag. Um, out of all those coaches, I believe Frank Wright is the best coach. It looks like Texans having culture problems. So, Jaguars is the Jaguars. And I don't know, Tennessee is just, I don't know what they're doing right now. But this is Alcabea, the analyst. Ghost.